Hello, brothers and sisters, as we get ready for the Daily Word, just a reminder, Friday we have confessions and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, 4.30 to 7.30, right here at Resurrection Burtonsville. The Daily Word of Wednesday, 27th of May. I am Father Virginus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful Father, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart, and united in purity of intent, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I'm taking my reading from the Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of the destruction in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. In one of the discourses of Jesus with his disciples, he told them, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. And he said this because the people were accusing him of casting out devils to the prince of devils called Beelzebub. I think the greatest scandal of Christianity is the division. The fact that although we bear the same name as followers of Christ, but we fight each other. We fight each other. We, we vilify each other. We talk ill of each other. We think that our churches are the best. The divisions that arrive among us are the greatest scandals of Christianity. Today, Jesus prays for his disciples. He said, that they may be one, as I and the Father are one. That they may be united. Sometimes we think about unity as uniformity. Jesus is not talking about uniformity. He's talking about unity in diversity. We can still be diverse. We can still be different. We can still have different temperaments different attitudes, but we can be focused on the one thing, the purpose of God for humanity, which is salvation, that is exemplified in Christ, that they may be one, as the Father and I are one. When I look at the lives of the apostles, I'm encouraged. You have Peter, you have Andrew, you have John, you have Philip, you have Bartholomew, and every single apostle is different. That is why Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, he says, there is one glory of the star, and another glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and every star differs from another star in glory. And this is what we are, Jesus is making clear here. We can still be different stars but in the same galaxy. We can still be different personalities. I don't have to become who I am not. I don't have to become another person. I only need to become the best of who God made me to be. And this is what unity is about. And so the person who is an extrovert brings the temperament. The person who is an introvert brings the temperament. The person who is reserved brings the temperament. The person who is... Progressive brings the temperament, and together, for one purpose, we build the kingdom of God. This is our calling, to be one.